Like the State of the Union tonight calls for unity here, our hogwash. <laughs> Right? We stand united. Are we? Are we all united the on this? They've been shown everything, so that means transparency at all costs. With the taxpayers paying for these schools, I like it. I'd rather have a promotion than not have one. But like a lot of people are saying, is that you still have to ask for a raise or ask for whatever you can, maybe more time off or more of whatever you want, and see if they're willing to negotiate. And if they really do value you as an employee, I think that they'll figure out ways to make you happy and meet you in the middle. As for not getting a raise, that is very common. And a lot of companies have small budgets. Offering it only happens when there's leverage, when they recognize that that employee might leave for a better opportunity. So employers are not hurting for employees I because people that, are Nick, working. The, the government's back open at least for three weeks, but we start tonight with health care and a story that's gone national out of Indiana. It's to do it, it's a company and they can't have everyone sharing their insurance cards. She's the modern day version of Robin Hood, the real. She looked at that child as a human being and truly cared for him. Go figure. Yeah. He has the right to do whatever he needs to defend himself. I think if anyone were in his situation, they would do the same. Uh, but it sounds, I mean, there's so many people that have come out against him. I mean, it's just, it's pretty cut and dry with this. Yeah, I'm with Stephanie on this. He has a right to defend himself, but I'm not a Harvey Weinstein fan either. Only person missing on that list may have been uh, Tom Mesereau. I think that's the only other yeah. big name. Uh, Michael uh, Jackson. Yeah. yeah, Michael Jackson. And, and it's just one of those things where uh, I expect, I do believe the law is just and fair. And it is uh, easily access to those who have money and power. You know, to rape somebody is, is just <laughs> unexcusable. And yet he's, in, in retrospect, making light of it. <laughs> very true. That is very true. But we will see him at the Super Bowl. Yeah. Oh, that could yeah. be, that very well could happen. Yeah. Uh, I'm still just curious as to why he has to go back to Italy. Oh, I guess they put him out. How does that go? Yeah, that's how you do it. Okay. <laughs> wow. Put him out. Yes. Honesty us hard. You know, it's really not that much of a make good, you know? Yeah, at all. It is It is what it is. Yeah, $26,000 to a million. Yep. That's pennies. Gotta go. Bye. Tonight on the final five, we are up and awake. Virginia's governor is facing mounting pressure to resign. Good evening. Thank you for staying up with us after the Super Bowl. Well, the fallout grows. It's not all celebrations, especially for Virginia Governor Ralph Northam. But so far, he's only put himself first. The governor uh, has said he has no plans to resign and that he intends to use this incident to spark a larger conversation. Most expect, what a location, most expect the summit to be held in another location in Vietnam. Well, Syria claims the U.S.-led coalition attacked its forces in the eastern part of the country. States and Iran, the country marks the 40th anniversary of the Iranian Revolution. Now, Iran has un been unveiling a new cruise missile despite continuous warnings from Washington about the country's expanding ballistic missile program. There is growing international concern from the United States and its allies, such as Israel, about increasing Iranian influence in the Middle East. Meanwhile, President Trump is indicating he still views Iran as a threat and plans to keep U.S. troops in neighboring Iraq to keep a watchful eye on the Iranians. And the co-host of UnPC on Fox Nation, Britt McHenry. So, Stephen, this hat now. Yeah. Can't wear it. Britt. I mean, yes. the, CNN just maybe got another 100,000 sales for the hat. <laughs> hey, every time. And But it doesn't make sense from a business perspective. If you stop putting the false accusations <laughs> on a red hat. I mean, am I, I can't go to a restaurant if I put this on. I'll put there it on. Is. I think as we continue... 40% undecided voters and a lot of young people are going to start. Whether they agree with Make, a great, make America Great Again doesn't matter. Yeah. I think this is Trump's... And say this, you can't say Merry Christmas. Everything the left is saying you can't do, people, like you just said, are going to think, right. wait a second, right. this is not American. Don't right. Just. It's not correct. No. The um, people are comparing this to the, the baker. Remember, you know, whatever. He, he didn't believe that. The guy at the restaurant, he's just making burgers and fries. He's not complicit in anything. He's going to make the same thing for everybody. Yeah, and, and with the baker, you know, that's his religious belief. And, and again, if any of these establishments, you don't want certain people in, you do own the place, but you have to prepare for the overwhelming response that's not going to like it. And I